Hi everyone, my name's Marie Rose from TarotReadingsLive.com and PsychicsLive.com.au. Today we're going to start your June reading and we're going to do the energy for June. Then we're going to do three cards. Card one is going to be for career, card two is for relationships and card three is going to be for finances. So you can either pick that card that you're interested in or or you can pick more than one or you can watch the whole video. It's up to you. The whole video has a lot of messages for you. But I understand that some people want to know only one section of the reading. So I'm going to separate that reading for you. Then we're going to finish it off with the last message for you as well. I hope that all makes sense and in June our motto is going to be I am abundant I am prosperous and I am healthy. So our mantra for June is going to be I am prosperous, I am abundant and I am healthy. Write it in the comments below to bring that energy into you. Hello beautiful Geminides. Now let's go into your energies, the three cards and the last message that we have for Gemini. Let's see what we've got today. What's the energy that's going to come through for Gemini for the month of June? Let's see what we've got for Gemini. Gemini place for the month of June. What have we got for Gemini? Thank you. Soulmates, Gemini. Spending time with your soulmates, making changes with your soulmate. I feel here that somebody here is either one going to make, meet their soulmate in June or you have a soulmate already and you're going to make changes in June. There's a lot of changes coming through for you and your partner and if you don't have one, you will. It's like you've got the key here. You're holding the key here and here they're saying, Things are going to change for you and your partner in June. It's all looking positive for you. And if you don't have it, if you don't have someone who you share your life with, you're going to find someone. Oh, two, no. Only taking one. Why? For someone here, oh, there's two. I'm going to take those two. They want me to take the two. Here in June, you may ask yourself why. There may be some confusing issues in June or something that you're not seeing right now. And, they're going, and you're going to be asking why did that take place? Why did this happen? Why are they like this? Also, we've got chaos and conflict. So there may be some instances in June that you're not going to understand why it's happening. What is it? that took you to this place? What is it that happened that has brought on this chaos and conflict? And it may have to do with your partner. Let's see what we've got. Let's see, it's going to show up in the relationship. Okay, three cards for Gemini. Let's see what you've got. Oops. Card one. Something's going to fall apart. Card two. Let's have a look, Gemini. Card three. So we've got career, relationships and finances. Card one for Gemini. This is career. Six of pentacles, give and take. So everything you uh, dedicate yourself to in June, you're going to have a good return come back. So you, you know, they always say you always get what you give it. What you give, well, that's that's the instance here. Whatever, how, however much you give, is how much you're going to get back. So it's going to be a fair, a fair position in June as far as your career is concerned. What do we have? You're going to be very much at peace with your career in June. Gemini, I, I feel here that you're at peace. You, you're resting. You, you'll get some rest in June and I've, I feel here that you'll be in a tranquil situation you'll be comfortable where you are you'll be comfortable with the transactions you're making the 
Five of Pentacles, look at that. For some of you here, you have a fear of not having enough to either um, to stabilize yourself or, or you've got this fear of not having enough finances. You're, you're forever dedicating yourself. I feel here that someone here may get money that you've been waiting for and it's taken you to a place of despair, a place of, a, of loneliness, feeling that you're alone, fighting this alone. I don't know what you're going through here. Some, someone here, Gemini, is going through a place of need. You're in need of finances. You're in need of help. It's not for everybody, obviously, but for someone here, you're two of wands. You're wondering what is it that you can do to bring in more money. For some of you, it's you're meditating at the moment, thinking about what can I start, what can I do that's going to give me as much as I give it. It's like what can I invest in, what can I dedicate myself to to make more money. Some of you are even contemplating going to work in another location, in another country, in another, in another city or another state. No, too many. Too many. Page of Wands, a new beginning here. There's going to be something that comes through for you in June. For those of you that are worried about not having enough money or not having a job, in June that's going to change. There's a new beginning here. A new, a new beginning for you to move forward. There's going to be a message, an email, a telephone call or something that you receive to give you that opportunity to get yourself out of this place of not having enough money, having to get help in order to, for you to stabilise yourself. There's going to be new solutions, new answers. Knight of Cups, look at that. Someone's going to offer you something here, Gemini. You're going to have an offer here. And you could either, you could do this with a partner, this new business or this new proposal or someone that you have liked or you have very a very close relationship with may offer you a new opportunity, a new proposal. But I do feel that your circumstances are going to change in June. They're going to change in June, Gemini. Some of you are absolutely disappointed and heartbroken and you feel like you, there's not much you can do. But in June, there is a new proposal and I feel that this new proposal or opportunity is going to be fair. It's going to give you as much as you give it. Card two, relationships. Let's see what we have for relationships. Seven of Wands, you're protecting yourself here, Gemini. You're protecting yourself from outside forces, outside noise. It's like you're putting yourself in a bubble here or you're living in a bubble and you're not really interested in, in your relation, in re starting new relationships or, or you're not spending much time dedicating yourself to relationships in June. It's like you're focused on something else, but relationships is not going to be the utmost. Um, it's it's not going to be the 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 goal for you in June. Or you're protecting yourself here for someone else. You're protecting yourself here against somebody, from somebody. What have we got for Gemini for relationships, please? Ah, understood. The chaos and conflict. In your relationships, you're going to protect yourself from any chaos or conflict that comes your way. You don't want to have conflict. You don't want to get into any discussions that are going to lead to conflict or chaos. And here I feel that you're moving away from any of those conflicts or chaoses that try and bust your bubble here. It's like I don't want to have to deal with people that bring me conflict. Six of Pentacles. I feel here it's going to be a give and take. It's going to be very much a give and take in your relationships. You're trying to center you. You're trying to be in your peace. You want peace and tranquility in June. The moon. Questions. Questioning. You may be questioning a certain relationship. Is it give and take? 
are they attacking? You feel like here you're being attacked. No, too many. Thank you. Someone here, you may feel like you're being attacked in your relationship and, and you're questioning that. Why? Why am I being attacked? What is it that I've done? Why are you causing all this conflict? Why are you causing all this conflict and chaos? Why is this? You're not understanding. There's something here that you're not understanding. The star. Things will become clear for you. In June, one way or another, things are going to become clear for you. Three of Pentacles. There may be another two people involved in, in relationships or, or two people are involved in creating chaos and conflict in your life. Three people, three people. There could be three people here. But I feel that you're one of you're one of these people. So there could be another two people here involved in creating conflict for you in June. For your relationships. Oh, I don't know. The tower. Gemini, can I just say something to you? It's going to be very evident that someone here is trying to make your life hell in June. And I feel that there's another two people involved. And I don't know what it is and what relationship this is, if this is a love relationship, but it's like you're defending yourself. It could be your family relationships, your family relations, because you've got more people here. And the lover's card is not here. So I feel that you're protecting yourself against other people, other relationships that you've got in June. Now, look at that. It's like you're coming in love. But now you bec you, you've had to use emotion and rationality with these people. Like as much as it hurts you, you've also got to be very, stand strong with these people. Let me know, Gemini, if, they, if this happens to you in June. Card 3, Finances. Let's see what we've got for Finances. Six of Wands, Victory, Accomplishments. Mm public awareness in in june you whatever you're doing you're going to be recognized you're going to be rewarded you're going to be noticed you're going to have victory in your finances so i feel here gemini that it's either you're going to get a raise you're going to get a promotion or you're going to get money that comes into into your business with extra customers extra people wanting your product Whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to be victorious. So whatever it is that you're working on, however much you're dedicating yourself, you're going to be noticed in June. King of Cups, something that you love. This is something you love doing. And I feel here that the finances are not only going to be great for you, it's going to be good for your family, for your partner. It's going to bring a big relief to the family. Look at that, Page of Cups. This is an idea that you've always had. For someone here, it's like you've always wanted to do this in the past. And now that you've dedicated yourself to it, it's something that you've always loved doing. It's right down your alley. You, you love exploring. You love doing this. And this is going to bring you a lot of victory, a lot of finance, financial ability. For someone here, you're coming into finances Someone else, it could be that money was owed to you and now it's being paid to you. This could be an inheritance. This could also, you could also come into money through an inheritance here. Page of Pentacles. And, you, and you're, you're going to look for ways to reinvest your money, to make your money work for you. Something new, a new investment, a new proposal, something that you're going to be part of, you're going to invest your money into. 
something new that you buy, a new home. I feel that whatever it is here, it's something of huge value to you. Eight of Swords. For some of you here, this was not easy. You went through a whole heap of chaos and conflict to get this money. It wasn't easy to get this money. It either, you either went through a lot of sacrifice, a lot of energy, a lot of lost sleep, lost nights to get to where you, you've come today. And I feel that if this is an inheritance, it was not easy. There were times you wanted to give up. You just didn't want to deal with it anymore. It took a lot of, a lot of your patience, a lot of your energy, a lot of chaos and conflict. So I don't feel that this victory was an easy one. Ace of Wands. Listen to your mind. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your, your voice. Whenever making decisions about finances in June, listen to your intuition. If it feels right, then it might be okay. But if it doesn't feel right, stick to that feeling, that voice, that thought that comes to your mind straight away when you think of doing that. For someone here, be careful with someone from the past as well. Someone from your past may come to you to invest money and they're saying just go with your intuition. But I do feel that whatever you've done in the past, whatever you've done and you love doing, it's going to bring you some victory. And not only to you, to your family as well. Decisions that you made are going to benefit not only you, but your family as well. And I do feel that you've been through a hard path, a hard road. It wasn't easy to get here. I had that feeling before and this card has just come to complement what I said. It's been a hard road, a hard path. Okay, Gemini, let's see what your last message is. What is your closing message for Gemini, please? What's the closing message for Gemini? Improving health. I feel that once you conquer this, this unknown, once you go through this process and finalise all these conflict and chaoses that may come into your life, that your, your health is going to improve. Once the, I feel here that there's a situation you're waiting to finish and once that happens, it's going to improve your health. It's weighing on you, Gemini. Big happy changes. Look at that. There's some fantastic things coming through for you in June, Gemini. So be prepared because it's about to change. Not the right time. If something didn't happen before or it didn't work out the way you planned, that's because it wasn't the right time. Things happen at the right time when you're in the right place. And our time, unfortunately, is not the same time as the universe. So when it's the right time, they usually give us what we're meant to get. The situation will improve. Look at that. I don't know what you were going through before June, but the situation is definitely going to improve in June. And you're going to find the light at the end of the tunnel, the solution you've been looking for, the answer that you've wanted. Within the next few months, everything changes. So although you may have gone through some tough times, some tough decisions that had to be made or some uncomfortable situations, within the next few months, everything will make sense. Everything will be clear and you'll be in a better place then than what you are now or you have been. I hope that makes sense, Gemini, to somebody. Lots of love and light your way. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.